wanna be riding on my way. Finally woke up with some luck in the buck. I don't give a fuck what someone, someone say. Finally got my friends in the back on my roller. We gon' make it big one day. We gon' make it big, I say. We gon' make it big, just stay in the, stay in the moment. hey guys welcome back to my channel thank you all for being here so today's video i want to be cleaning and i'll be doing that at night it's currently 6 p.m so i'll start by clearing the sink those are dishes from our uh, lunch i want to clear everything put everything away and then make dinner after dinner i'll then start now the cleaning if you do love this video please give it a thumbs up share it widely and also remember to subscribe if it is your first time here and as always, these kind of videos are just to motivate you to clean your space and also to keep your space neat. I hope you get the motivation from this video so that you can always keep up with uh, the cleaning in your space. I want to make dinner and for dinner i'll be making pilau but i want to put a twist on this pilau because i need extra flavors on the pilau compared to the normal pilau that we usually do make so i'll start by chopping the onions as i go on but i'll also be uh, entertaining myself by watching other youtubers because you can't just be alone in the kitchen minus any entertainment onions and spices are always my key ingredients in my pilau and i always love using a lot of onions when it comes to pilau so i'll chop like uh, three of them because i just want a lot of them i'll not be spicing this pilau because of the children so that is why i'm going to skip the part where i'm using the ginger but if you do love ginger just include it in your pilau I will be using all my favorite spices and I'll start with the garlic uh, powder. This garlic powder has uh, gotten some lumps. I don't know why. I think it is the exposure to the uh, moisture. So I'm going to add in the garlic powder, the turmeric, the curry powder, the onion powder, as well as the cumin, the fenugreek, everything just uh, in moderation a little bit then i'll be adding some garam masala i'm also adding some curry powder because we need it also i'm adding also the pilau masala itself i know pilau masala is a mixture of many spices but i'm just adding it anyway and then i'm going to uh now uh, heat up my oil in my pot and then i'll be adding in the onions I'll let them brown just a little bit before I can infuse all the spices with the onions because we need these flavors from the onions. We also need those flavors of the spices from the 
oil as well so i'll mix them until uh, they are golden brown once they are golden brown that is when i'll be adding in my spices Finally got my friends in the back on my roller. We gon' make it big one day. We gon' make it big, I say. We gon' make it big, just stay in the, stay in the moment. Stay in the moment with me. Give you a moment to give you a moment with me. After everything has infused well, I'm going to add in the pre-boiled. Uh, meat that I had already boiled. This is beef. My son on the other side is just taking a video for Instagram And if you're not following me on Instagram, please do follow me at Jerusha Mombo. We have uh, recipes there amazing amazing reals. Please follow me on Instagram So I'll mix this well and then I'll introduce in the rice that I've already washed Let me give you one tip about pilau. If you want tasty pilau, just use the beef broth. Don't use water because water tends to diminish the flavors, the good flavors that we want from the pilau. So after adding the beef broth, I'm going to let it uh, just uh, cook on high heat for like five minutes. And then I'll come back, lower the heat, cover it with a uh, foil, and then just uh, cover everything there. They'll just the, the steam will just cook the pilau on its own. I want some smoky flavors on my pilau and to achieve that this is what I'm going to do at this point the pilau is almost done I have some charcoal there I've lit because I don't have the jiko going so I decided to use the gas anyway I needed only one charcoal so that is why I've lit two there this is butter not margarine so I'm going to use the butter so that we can infuse the smoke with some uh, flavors from the butter so I'll do this seal it quickly and then uh, put a lid on it so that we can seal uh, all the smoke and uh, it doesn't get to escape I'll also seal the edges I want the smoke to spread evenly to give good aromas to the pilau I love experimenting uh, so many ways of getting flavorful uh, food uh, even getting flavorful pilau and i had to use this method after seeing karogi dingy use it on her meat i decided to also do it on my pilau so after this it's done i'm telling you the flavors inside the uh, inside here are just amazing i'm, I'm not going to discard this uh, butter this butter i'm going to actually add it on the rice and then i'll mix that rice well and then i'll serve with some kachumbari trust me you try this you'll just love it The feeling of wanting to have good food is unmatched. Never be afraid to experiment on recipes because recipes are made by an individual. So after that dinner, this is around I think 8. I now want to start uh, cleaning up. I want to clean the entire living room. I want to clean like every part of, uh, of my house. This living room, as much as you are seeing it, it looks neat. But just wait for it it's so so messy so i'll start i hope you get to get the motivation from this video so that you can clean your home this was a whole uh, mess like a lot of mess kids when you have kids in the house just understand they do throw things that you there are spots that you don't expect to get some uh, things but i was shocked on the amount of that that i have in the i had in this uh, area and some parts of the house
because the holiday is still on i don't want to be washing this carpet because it will just be a waste so i'm going to give it a first aid i'm using some baking soda just to brighten it a little bit i'm also using some dishwashing soap and some water i'm just dipping the brush inside the water and shaking it and then scrubbing the carpet it had a lot of food spills and uh that really really uh, did overwork me but i managed to actually uh just uh, clean it up and then i did put it outside and then now i started like scrubbing the floors really sweating it's like i'm working out it's not like I'm, I'm cleaning it's like i'm doing some gym with this carpet it has a lot of stains from turmeric you know but i'll keep scrubbing it because i just want to do a first aid on it because i can't be uh, washing the carpet every now and then before even the month elapses. so i think i'll just continue <music> taking the carpet outside just to air it until i finish that is when i'll bring it back i'm telling you the amount of dirt that was here i'm even shocked so i'll sweep the dirt and then this brush over here i'm going to use it to actually scrub the floors i just want them uh, clean and just uh, with the original color i'm going to use the still the dishwashing soap and uh, some water i'll be scrubbing the floors and then i'll be mopping them The doors and the walls always accumulate a lot of dust without us noticing so i'm going to wipe all the doors and also be wiping the walls because i noticed there are a lot of stains as well so i'm going to do that as i keep on also uh, scrubbing the floors and mopping you ever take notice of the edges of the wall because that place accumulates a lot of dust and also dust mites i always have to clean that place whenever i'm doing any thorough cleaning I love using this brush whenever I want to scrub my floors because it's very tough and always removes all the stains from the floor. <music> 